Do you feel nervous? Do you feel anything else? Yeah, a little bit nervous. Yeah? Okay. Well, probably the next thing that we're going to see is you on the post-op, because you, you need to see the anesthesiologist and Dr. Pfeffer in a minute. And then after that, uh, going straight into surgery. Anything you want to say before? Uh, no. Because mm -hmm. the next time you see this, it's going to be you. <laughs> Your your future self's gonna be seeing this, so nothing else. Oh, I'm good. Okay. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Brooke. I am a homeschool mom of seven. And today's video is going to be a bit different because I'm actually not going to be filming this vlog. My husband is going to be filming this vlog, and for that reason, um, I'm just going to explain why he's filming it. My 15 year old is going to be having foot surgery in California. We live in Oklahoma, but the foot surgeon that is doing his surgery, he's based out in California. So we have to make that trip to California for it. And because we have six other children, I'm staying home with my other boys while my husband takes my 15 year old to California to do the surgery. So I hope you guys like this video. You ready? fajitas from this place Rico's tacos oh that one does look good you should have got that that looks really <laughs> good actually you can't have it <laughs> <laughs> mom is gonna be so mad <laughs> because we don't know how to vlog this is a super small room Yeah, you gotta push it. Does this even have windows? I'm not tall enough. <laughs> Here, hold this. Let me give it a shot. <laughs> and there's a Taco Bell across the street. Wanna get that in view? <laughs> We, we got the great view done with the Taco Bell and everything. It's amazing. All right, second day in California for Ezra's surgery. And we've got some gourmet Taco Bell in the hotel. A little bit of jet lag from yesterday. But we're going to get our COVID test today. So that way we can be able to go to the pre-op tomorrow after our COVID test. Then we'll take some footage of the things that we're going to do around Beverly Hills in LA. What did this guy forget already? Uh, a mask. My, um... Yeah. I forgot my mask. My socks. Mask, socks, hoodie, jacket. Here, watch the... <laughs> Let's look how crappy the... the weather is here in sunny California right now. You want to get COVID tests right now so we can do the pre-op, so. There it is, COVID-19 testing vaccine site. Got a line going out the, the parking lot, basically. And of course it's raining, so you can't really see, but. We just got the COVID test. For some reason, I couldn't get mine because I didn't have an appointment, but it's his surgery, so how'd it go? Well, it hurt. Um... Did not feel good at all. Went to the mall that Ezra wanted to go to, here right next to the uh, hospital. Ah, oh, that's cool.
Topanga Reserve or State Park, something like that. We're kind of at the base of this side of the mountain. I think that the other side has some more stuff, but kind of a gloomy day to do it. About the Pacific Ocean out there. In the parking garage for the pre-op day. Yeah. You ready, Ezra? Yeah. We couldn't film in there, so we're leaving now. Yeah. But uh, it was really cool to see the scan. I want to make sure you can do all the stuff with it. So go back to the spot and then just like adjust all the stuff. Like back up, back up into the spot that you were at. So go forward a little bit and then see, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like back up right here, it's facing this way. I want to see you do that. Yeah, so go forward, just like you were backing up a car. There you go. So watch your foot, because you're going to have to watch out for stuff like that whenever you actually are using it. You know what I'm saying? Our Los Angeles Memorial. Me and Ezra are about to go in here. I can't film, but it's got uh, just like the Arlington National Cemetery. It's got all the graves, headstones and graves and stuff for service members. Clinic second time today. We're gonna see Dr. Pfeffer this time for his pre-op. Alright, so we just got done with the the portion of uh, doing your pre-op. So how'd it go, Ezra? Uh, it went good. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we can't take video or pictures during the uh, during the surgery. He just told us, but maybe if we ask him nice, he'll do some uh, some limited pictures. I guess maybe before or after the surgery, I don't really know. But either way, um, pre-op's done and he's he's ready to go tomorrow, bright and early in the morning. We gotta be here at 6.30, so. Yeah. How do you feel? Feel great, yeah. You feel great? Not nervous at all? Nope. Really? Yeah. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I'm not even getting it. Because it's a, surgery's an important thing. Yeah. It's a big deal. All right, so last time before you can't eat and drink, you ready to go get something to eat? Yeah. All right, I think the uh, we're going to get the surgery over there in that building across the street, so we will, I guess, see you guys then. All right, Ezra, surgery day. How are you feeling? Uh, fine. A little tired. <laughs> a little or a lot tired? <laughs> Don't know. Yeah, we got up pretty early, six right now, so we're gonna head over. Surgery is at 6:30, but um, we are going to come back in a little bit and see how it goes. Pre-op is done, um, surgery is next, right? How do you feel? Uh, pretty good, not bad. You feel nervous? You feel anything else? Mm -hmm. a bit nervous. Yeah, okay. Well, probably the next thing that we're gonna see is you on the post-op, because you, you need to see the anesthesiologist and Dr. Pfeffer in a minute. And then after that, uh, going straight into surgery. Anything you wanna say before? Uh, no. Because mm -hmm. the next time you see this, it's going to be you. <laughs> your your future self's going to be seeing this, so nothing else? Oh, I'm good. Okay. Your calf? Mm -hmm. You want it signed? You said? Mm -hmm. How did you feel again? Uh, you feel <laughs> pretty bad. You feel a little dizzy right now? A little. Yeah. Yeah. 
You want to see your foot? Like right after surgery? I'll show it to you. It says, uh, success. The crosshatch lines are from a pen, not suture. But that's your foot. <laughs> it's different. Look at your toe. Because that's the one he posted. Well, here, I gotta go. So that was the one. And now it's that. It looks well, but. <laughs> yeah. You're surprised what? And they put it like up. They put it up, what do you mean? Like with the strap thing. Oh, that's what happened in your surgery? No, I'm surprised I didn't put that on. Oh, okay. Did you say so you don't remember anything from whatever uh -huh. you were? Just the uh, different ones? All I remember is that she gave me two and I asked her to put one on. And I don't know what that one was for. And then after, he just put on another one. He said, oh, I'm going to put on another one. And because I turned over. And then that's, that's, I rem that's all I remember. I don't you know just like went to me. sleep? Yeah, I don't remember if I like, if he made me count down before and then I fell asleep at all. He probably did though. Yeah. And that's the first mask. Because I remember him making me inhale and then exhale on the second mask. Oh, so you do remember that? Mm-hmm. And then it was over. Uh-huh. <laughs> what were you saying? I kind of feel pain in my foot and my leg. You feel sore? It's sore. Like on the side? Like right here. Right here. Yeah. Let me see. This part. Yeah, let me see. Move your hand. Yeah. That's for the nerve block. That's for the nerve block for the Yeah. That makes sense. It just it just breaks a little bit. Yeah. Do I have to change? <laughs> You're gonna have to change. <laughs> yes, you want to go naked? Do you want to go naked? <laughs> I don't feel anything. I do feel a little bit of discomfort, discomfort in the area, in my ankle area, like the inside ankle. Yeah, the inside. That's it. Yeah. Nothing else really hurts. It feels like my foot is asleep. You know how when your foot's asleep, you can't move your toes? Yeah. I can't do that. And you know that's the most annoying feeling ever. But it's better than not. It's better than the pain, probably, so... Absolutely. Okay, just got out of the hospital. Hospital's right there. Just got your little wheelie chair and crutches that you learn how to use. Where are those crutches at? Right there. And your foot. Yeah. Anything more to say since last time? Uh, not. A little bit tingle. It's um. Can't really feel anything at the moment, so I'm fine right now. You seem much less drowsy, I can say that, so. All right, you ready to go back to the hotel? Yeah. All right, let's do it. All right, back at the hotel. You carry this. I'll get these. You're gonna be able to push yourself or you need me to push you? Maybe push All right, take the brakes off. Are you ready to eat? Yep. Dad had to help you. We're both figuring out how to maneuver this wheels of steel. What are we calling it? Hot Wheels? Wheelie? Wheelo? Mm -hmm. Wheelie. So this is the second day after surgery. We've been in the hotel. It's our last night. Wake up early in the morning, go to the airport, and uh, get on the plane back home. 
How do you feel? Tired, exhausted. No. Can we see the um, the cast? Yeah. You've been having lots of medicine. Lots of painkillers. Mm-hmm. Where does it hurt the most? Um, right now it hurts on the inner heel, but um, it's I'm actually it doesn't hurt that bad. Like right this now. part right here, yeah. that's the most. Mm-hmm. So this nerve block thing that you got um, right here, that only works for the outer and up top and the bottom, right? Doesn't work for this part, they said. Mm-hmm. So you're taking medicine for that? Mm-hmm. And that, what's that little pack that's making noise? That's the, uh, what is it called? The, the nerve block? Yeah, or whatever the medicine for it. Yeah, what's it say? Got a number on it. So it has 500 cc's right now. You've used like half, 250. And if you if you are in extra pain, then you press this button, right? Yeah. Gives you like a little boost of it. Yeah. You had to uh, take a bath, sponge bath earlier. Mm-hmm. How'd that go? I never want to do that again. You never want to do that again? No. <laughs> Why? It was horrible. What was so bad about it? My foot, I think it started to swell up or something because it started to get really, uh, it started to get really, really like sting, like it started to sting really bad and got really, really warm. Yeah. But then what, how how do you feel better? When you press the button? Uh, I think it was when I moved, uh, onto like, when I set it down because it was, on the wheelchair and then when I took it off and it went down is when it started to feel better so yeah all right it's about 5 a.m. right now on Saturday we need to go on over return the rental car check out of the hotel get on the airplane and go back home he's all ready to go it's gonna be an interesting time learning how to navigate through the uh, airport with um, with a wheelchair but I guess we'll figure it out. All right, we're at the airport. That was kind of difficult, huh, to get through all that. Get on the bus, no, no problem though, right? Just had to lower the bus down for you. And getting off the bus, just a little bumpy, right? Hurt. Just got out of the airport with uh, my sister, Ezra's aunt, uh, picked us up and brought us back to the car. And we just finished the trip. Didn't get any footage of the airport. It uh, really wasn't much different, but we waited for our bags forever. How was the plane trip? Now it's fresh in your mind. It was fine the first half. I pretty much fell asleep the entire time, so I don't really remember all of it. I did fall a few times trying to use, what was it called? The crutches. The crutches. But... Trying to get out, trying to get out of the plane. Mm-hmm. Trying to get out of the plane, use the crutches was difficult because he wasn't used to them. And... He's drowsy from the medication, but and now we're on the ride home. So three and a half hour ride after we get some gas and something to eat. You got it. All right, looking good. Yeah. The other side needs to. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. I do not know. This is gonna hurt. I would rather just literally it's just like. Right. Okay, bro. Bro. Right? Mm-hmm. My bad. Um, I, I think they forgot about us, bro. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not gonna take you off the edge. How you doing? Good. You want to like go like this? No. <laughs> He's home. We're trying to figure out where you might sleep. Don't touch it, buddy. Do you want to sit on the couch area? No, I gotta figure it out. Okay, we'll talk about it and figure out where. 
How's where you're gonna be. Go? First place! <laughs> Ezra's hanging out on the couch. He slept on the couch last night. How did sleeping on the couch go? It went fine. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. It has been the next day since Elias and Ezra made it home. Ezra slept on the couch last night. He's doing a little bit better. We are going to do a video next. Ezra's gonna do it with me and kind of go through, I guess, the expectations of what surgery is gonna be like. If you have CMT and if you're gonna go through the surgery we can um, go over those things. I hope you guys like this video. If you want to follow our family, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will see you guys next time. Bye.